Okay, guys, once you're in Relica here, you're going to want to come up here. This is my buddy. We're going to run all the way through Relica. You're going to want to come right up to here to Jarvald. You want to travel to Waterbirth. He's the uh, far western side of the dock. We have the Relica dock too. Once you're at Waterbirth, you just want to follow the pathway here. Okay, once you get to here, you are going to want to enter the cave. This is where you post, you know, this is where most people sit looking for door partners. You're going to want to run to the north east section of the cave. <clears throat> You're going to want to stand on these pedestals, one over here. You're going to want to open the door. And, wow, lag. You're going to want to run all the way down to the south side of this of these gates because the middle one's mage and there's you know you don't really want to protect mage you gotta do this pretty fast here you gotta open up this I'm running back he's gonna run forward and hopefully I can get in before the door closes just like that and the door just closed back there so ooh, pretty close Actually, I probably don't need to do the second one. It just shows him running back and me running forward. It's pretty much the same thing. So you're going to want to throw on your rune throwing axe if you brought one. You don't have to. Most people, you just go in here. Need DP with range. Then they'll say, I'm here. <laughs> so pretty much, yeah, you just want to spec out your door here. Bing, bing. It's going to kill his door. He's going to run over here. And he's going to open it for me. I'm going to throw this back on. So, when you get to the cave here, when you get to the cave here, you're going to want to run down the cave with your mage prayer on because there's mage here. Just continue following the ladders. Down. No, down. I'll fail. Keep running. There's usually one ladder in the other room. You can charge your run here if you don't have infinite run. Turn your pair off. No more ladders over there. You don't want to continue this ladder. Uh, now you're going to want to ignore this south ladder right here. It's going to lead you to a dead end. There's no point in going through it. You're going to come down here. You're going to want to pray mage again down here. And just continue praying, praying mage when you come up through this other ladder. Down here. And you just follow the ladders. It's like snakes and ladders. These are the little snakes and piss you off. Once you get up here, again, this is another area where you can rest. You don't need to rest. You just continue along. You can pray melee if you want through here, and then melee range down through these ones. I don't. I got 99 defense. I'm boss shit. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but... Uh... The rest is just, you just follow the ladders. Follow the pathway until you get to the ladder. There's only that one ladder that could screw you up back there. Just make sure you don't go through that south ladder. It'll really confuse you sometimes, and then you get lost. Even though it leads to a dead end. Okay, this is the last part here. You're going to want to hop down here and run behind here which protects you from these guys. You don't have to, like him. Ah, he got me somehow. Bastard. <laughs> he wants my shield. Screw it, I don't care if he's attacking me. Okay, once you're all ready to go here, you want to run down this pathway. When you get lower down here, you're going to want to pray mage. Good thing I have that extra space because I'm going to be wielding my Belmung right about now. You're going to want to pot up. And head down this ladder. Make sure your Mage Prey is on. 
because Prime can deal some serious damage. So, that's why you want to kill Supreme here with your Belmong. That's why I bring the pots, so you can kill him really fast. And my friend here is distracting Rex, which is really nice. I like that. And wow, I just got hurt real bad. You do get poison down here, that's why you bring the anti-poisons. If you have an anti-poison totem, you can bring that too, but it takes up a shield spot. This is, like, the worst ever intro solo. <laughs> but, I'm fine with it. It just shows you that you can, do, you can get some serious damage if you don't know what you're doing here. If I take my Mage Prey off, Prime would probably one-hit me. And, look at that. I got some Steel Knives. Take the Bones. You're going to want to run up this ladder here. And just run over here for a little bit. Turn that off. Do this. Don't call me on Skype. You don't want to wait 30 seconds or so. Pray your mage again. Let's get rid of this. And you're just going to run along the southwest part to see how Prime's gone. You're going to want to keep running along the border here until you get to around here. This is the Rex safe spot. Right here. This is the golden area. This is where you want to be. Prime can't get you here. My buddy just X-logged, like he said. Mm, nothing. I'm just going to wait for Rex to spawn. Because he killed him, I believe. Yep, see, he killed him right here. See, if you stand right here, he can't see you. He sometimes can. You just got to be careful where he's standing. You want him out there. You do not want to ever come up in this green area. He will destroy you. And most people panic when they get when they get uh, mage rushed and when they see a 700 get hit on them. All right, so <laughs> fail. Okay, so when you're here, you just want to attack Rex, and of course, I failed horribly, and I'm on Lunar still. But when you, I'll attack him because I'm a boss. I'll just go melee him because I'm a boss. Once he's on you, you're going to want to run all the way north here. When he's attacking you. Yep, there you go. You're going to want to run all the way back south and he's going to get stuck right there. Just like that. Pretty easy, pretty simple. That's pretty much it. You can go around here. You can come up here too. And you, I don't think he'll be able to get you up here yet. See, he can't get you up here. You don't want to come back down here. Just be careful when you're looting your kill because he can kill you. And I'm going to try my bellmonging him. But that's pretty much it for this guide. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Just be careful when you get here. You can die really fast if you AFK. So... Good luck. Okay, guys. I just got my kill with my Belmong. I hit a couple 500s on him. Took me about 7 minutes. And I got an Adamant Bar with some bones. But since I screwed up and forgot my mage and I'm on Lunars, I'm just going to teleport. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much my guide. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little too long. I didn't really want it to be this long. But there is nothing really I could do about it. I wanted to try and get as much in-depth as I could. Uh, I feel that my written guide is still the better guide than my video one. I'm not quite used to making these video guides yet. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and like. That would be really great. Thank you.